Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is my Dwarf Fortress video tutorial, part 1. Dwarf Fortress is a game where you start with 7 dwarves and head out into the world and start a new fortress to get rich and try to survive while doing that. The game is uh, like a mix of Dungeon Keeper, the Dungeon Keeper games and a roguelike game, think NetHack. And um, let's start. Oh, yeah, before we start, if you can't read this, switch to high quality on YouTube and it should be fine. Um, Anyway, starting the game, the game says you can use a 293 to scroll, but the arrow keys use the word find too. Let's just start and create a new world. Go to this option, press enter, and we go. In a moment here, the game will show the little, yeah, the alpha release screen. Just press F9 to continue. Now the game starts generating a world. Uh, creating mountains, creating forests. And when it's done with that, it actually starts a history of the world. History of the world is happening now. 200 years of history. Uh, forces are being created, roads between them. Trees are dying, and yeah, it's busy. 200 years of history just being randomly generated right in front of your eyes. So a little bit of a miracle. And a few finishing touches. we go. The Gulf of Rapidity, my world. Well, I'm fine with that. You can look around with the arrow keys, but that's, uh, that's not really necessary. Press enter, and this will save it to your hard disk, and you can actually use it in a, a couple of game modes. Come on, game. There we go. Now we can actually start playing the game. So, press enter for start playing. Here's the three modes. Dwarf Fortress is uh, what I was talking about. There's also two other modes, Adventure, which is like a roguelike game, and Legends is a sort of extension of that. Uh, let's just start with a Dwarf Fortress. Well, it will import the world it just made. And here we have it. Here is the entire world we just created, or your computer created. Uh, this is a region screen, it's a sub-view sub -view of that. And a local screen is a sub-view of the regional screen, screen again. Let's look around a bit. Uh, with the arrow keys you can move around, and with the shift keys you can move 10 tiles at a time if you hold shift and then press the arrow keys. And you can move around a lot faster. So here's a sea, there's some mountains, there's some, uh, some forests, some lakes, rivers, all kind of stuff. Uh, there's some haunted forests over here, or haunted grasslands even. More mountains. It's just red stuff. Haunted forest. Yeah. Uh, need lots of stuff. We have to find uh, a place in this world to create our fortress. Uh, it's gonna be hard to find because there's a lot of problems. So let's make the, the game find it for us. Press F, as you can see here, to enter the site finder. You have a bunch of options to uh, let the game search with. For now, I'm going to choose a few options. Uh, first, I want a flock stone. A flock stone is a stone that's worth more than other stones, and it contains a lot of other ores. Uh, basically, you want it. An aquifer is something you don't want. An aquifer is ground that holds water. It will be uh, hell to mine too, and because the water will um, go to the deepest point, so just uh, stay without it. And I want a river because. Dwarves need water to survive, just like everything else in the world. Well, press enter and the game will start searching. Let me pause the video. Alright, it's almost done. And there we go, he found this place. Well, let's look at that. Press space to enter the, the site finder. And what do we have here? The entrancing hill. It has limestone. Uh, let me explain this part. What the place actually has. Uh, this is the type of biome. Uh, the temperature here is warm, here is woodland, uh, so a lot of trees. Uh, vegetation is moderate, surroundings is wilderness, which sounds awful, but it's green, so it's not that bad. Um, this is actually a biome. Uh, biome is like a region of this, the area, and uh, there's multiple in your area. Just, uh, with F1 and F2 you can view them, or more if you have more buttons. This is the first biome we're looking at now. And there's another biome here which is well mostly the same. 
Shopland, the savannah. Uh, there's sand. There's loam. There's limestone. Oh, this should be fine. Um, I think like great space. You want some sand if if possible in your fortress. And limestone is one of those flux materials. Those three, uh, the flux materials are limestone, dolomite, and chalk. So look for look for one of those if you want to find one yourself. Um, now we're going to cite the place. Um, as you can see here, with U M K H, you can move the local area. So with U, this is K M H U, you can find a nice spot. Um, I think the starting position here is fine. A little river in the middle. Most of the right. Let's look at the other options. With tab, as I just did, you can go to other view options. Here are the neighboring civilizations, dwarves, goblins, elves, humans. Pressing tab again. Shows your civilization. Uh, isn't that important? Tab again. Shows the elevation of the map. Uh, higher to lower. So this place is pretty low, this place is pretty high comparatively, still not very high compared to mountains. The, these are the cliffs in the area, not much. Um, yeah, uh, the, well the cliffs are handy to have. Actually when you start a map it's nice to have some cliffs of at least three or four in it. So you'll have a mountain wall to build into and it will greatly help your defense. And this place doesn't have that, that's a shame. Um, so yeah, I'll think I'll pause the video for a second and look for a better location. Pausing. Alright, I found an area. Uh, this place is very nice. It's uh, warm, so it means the temperature is important. If it's cold, the water might freeze over in the winter and then your dwarves might die of thirst. It's I've, uh, uh, that happened to me, it's uh, uh, really annoying. Uh, there's trees of woodland, lots of trees to cut down, vegetation is moderate, not that important. The surroundings are mirthful, that means it's very good, very good natured, and it'll probably have uh, yeah, less nuisance around, less uh, local creatures to fuck things over. Um, this place seems great, there's even some hills in the area. Uh, let's look at it, the elevation, this is higher, that's lower. And here's some cliffs of four. And yeah, there's dolomite. There's even some sand in this area. Uh, sand is important to have if you want to make glass. Without sand you can't make glass. So, um, that's great. Let's uh, embark to this place. Uh, something else I haven't told yet. I think this place is fine. Okay, so once you press E the game will embark, you'll go to the next uh, screen, you'll um, yeah, you have the option here to em embark or cancel let's go here uh, but this will be the end of the first video and in the second video uh, I'll press space and prepare the journey carefully, carefully you could skip it, you could just uh, press enter to play now the first time but you might end up with some dwarves you don't need yet in the beginning, like jewelers and stuff like that. So I'll be choosing my dwarves quite carefully in the next video. Um, so you'll be looking forward to that. And um, thanks for watching. Uh, this was Captain Duck. And see you in the next video. Later, guys.